this new 2024 driver is big and built for one thing sending bombs down the middle of that fairway that's what cleveland say about this brand new launcher xl2 driver and today we're going to test that and see if this mainframe technology helps you hit longer straighter drives hi everyone my name is james robinson welcome back to this youtube channel today we're going to test this driver and we're going to test it for numbers out here in the golf course and see if it's potentially the best value driver of 2024 399 pounds is what you can get this driver for so when you look at the latest tailor made the latest callaway the latest pxg all around that 550 pound mark this could prove to be excellent value and i for one can't wait to hit it i've been a huge fan of the cleveland launcher range since its inception way back with that gold shaft in the vj singh days so let's get this out there well i need a tea peg for this it's so cold so let's get this driver out there and see just what damage it can do. So you'll see here, it doesn't have a set loft. It has nine degree right through to 12 degree. I'm a big fan of that because it means that you can basically set this as you want it. We do have an adjustment key in this bag together with some hand warmers actually, because it is now that time of year. So I'm gonna set this just on nine degrees. That's where I feel comfortable with this driver. And it is full of technology. I'll go through that later in this video, but basically it's designed to be mega, mega forgiving and enhance ball speed from wherever you hit it. That does look rather complicated though, doesn't it? Let's go nine and a half. I believe that is on there. And then, We'll see just what bombs we can hit down this fairway interesting terminology from cleveland that not usually the type who want to kind of really delve into all that marketing hype but they've gone with it instruction book warning. i think it's a, well i'm a bloke aren't i so we don't need instructions definitely not another one in 2024 with a white head cover i don't know what the big thing is about white head covers this year but they're not going to stay white are they not for me anyway so I personally think this driver looks very, very good for the golfer who wants something that's going to be mega forgiving. It looks nothing like the traditional Cleveland launcher. It actually looks more futuristic, you could say. It's got some kind of lines on the back of the crown that just really exuberate how big this driver head is. And it looks really, really long. It looks like it's going to be mega forgiving. Chris, is that the best driver I've hit in quite a while? That's, I can't believe how well that just went. It sounds very, very, very loud. If you just zoomed in to show them how straight that went down the fairway. One of the things about this is it does sound incredibly loud and quite high pitched. So if you don't like a high pitched driver, it might well be something that you want to steer clear of. But I think you have to try it. I think especially for that price range, you have to maybe go and get fitted for this and just test it against the TaylorMade, against the Callaway. They're the two real big boys this year, aren't they? And when it comes to forgiveness, obviously the Pink G430 Max 10K driver, but that doesn't have mainframe XL technology, does it? So I suppose there's always that to think of. I can't believe the marketing strategy that Cleveland have gone with for this. It's basically saying it's gonna blow a lot of the clubs out of the water when it comes to forgiveness. And that really is, I really enjoy reviewing golf clubs. I enjoy tailor-made golf clubs, pin golf clubs, Titleist golf clubs. I've never really enjoyed Cleveland drivers, not since I was a kid, not since I was using the OG Cleveland launcher. This, I can sort of get around the look and the sound with those first two ball flights that I've hit. I think sometimes you pick a driver up and you kind of judge it on the first few shots. You should never really do that but certainly that's what I'm starting to do here. You can see I've struck them nicely out of the middle of that face. And I feel like I'm just really getting on with this. One of the things I feel like I can't do is hit it left. My bad shot has been predominantly left for quite some time now. If I can eradicate that side of the golf course and just hit a nice peeling fade, then it might well be the driver to try. You'll see we've got a lovely 10 size shaft in here. So components wise, you are getting premium as you would expect with a brand like Cleveland. Guys, comment below. Have you tried the latest Cleveland products? Would you try them? Looking down at it, like you can see, just how long that head looks. It looks really, really elongated. There's a word for you all. But I quite like that. I quite like how it sits behind the ball. And I'm just peeling shots off that left side down the middle of that fairway. That's three for three so far. Guys, I'm really looking forward to testing this for numbers as well, because if it can perform up their ball speeds in the low 160s, if I can, I feel like I'm getting good spin rates with this. Visually looking at the flight windows, I'd say between two, two and a half thousand. I know that's a wide bracket, 
but I certainly feel like it's hitting the flight window that I want to hit. Now, can we launch it? It wasn't meant to be a pun there, but can we launch it and maybe try and get a little turny over one around that corner? Because I love the idea of a versatile, movable driver. How's that? How's that? We've clipped the tree, unfortunately, but certainly the ball flight that I was after. Guys, let's go and hit a few more with this Cleveland Launcher XL2 driver, and let's see if potentially is the most forgiving driver of 2024. What a nice little budget as well. When did 399 become budget? I don't know. So in a year where not only are white head covers seemingly a huge fashion statement, I think it's going to be really interesting to see just what driver people potentially go for. That was so easy to take off as well. So that's a nice little win against something like the Kirkland. Guys, have you tested the Kirkland yet? Again, in the comments below and let me know if you have. And would you potentially look at something like this instead? You're going to pay a little bit more for a Cleveland, but I do certainly feel like Cleveland certainly have the history. They certainly have the R&D. And if we have a look at exactly what how hard is that ground? If we have a look at exactly what technology goes into this driver now, you'll see that it is pretty much jam-packed, full of technology to help mid-handicap, high-handicap golfers, but also with the versatility of this driver, being able to change the neck so much, I think it's a great driver all around, potentially for your low-handicap golfers who just want ease of use and want to be able to launch it again just want to launch the ball up in the air this is my nemesis hole i hate this driving hole we're into the wind there's a lake on the left and i've actively said i feel like this driver doesn't want to go left for me so can we hit this fairway a couple of times before we talk numbers for this club straight away a little bit of a fade down that right side i don't think that's going to be the longest drive i've ever hit but it is in play and for me, if that's the worst driver I'm going to hit with this club, I'm quite happy. The big thing with this club is to keep it in play, I do believe. And I love the fact that they've not taken a Cleveland Launcher XL2 LS, a Cleveland Launcher XL2 Max, a Cleveland Launcher XL2 Max 10K. Because I say, you know what, guys? This one will do. This one is fine for you. This one will do what you want it to, and it will help you hit more fairways and generally maintain more speed even on your bad hits. I don't think it's a bad looking driver. I think that's going to be very, very subjective and rather polarizing, but I think it generally looks quite nice at the bottom. I think it's got great shelf appeal. On top, it's certainly one of the better looking big drivers that I've seen in 2024. And then the face looks really, really nice and modernized with all the etching on it that you can see. Can we hit this fair? Let's try and keep this down because we're into quite a cold, stiff breeze here. Little bit of a slip there on the icy conditions, but you can see again there that ball's fading back nicely, and that one is in fact on the left side of the fairway. So, even with a bit of a slip and a really, really poorly struck shot out of the heel, we've managed to hit that fairway, which I think is a really nice bonus with this club. You can see just on the bottom just how it really is designed for the aerodynamics, and we've almost got a little bit of an inertia generator, what TaylorMade would call it, to help you generate a little bit more club head speed on the downswing. Right, I've got one on the left side of the fairway, one in the right hand rough. Let's try and just hit an absolute bomb now and see if we can hit a nice long one into this wind. Again, a lovely fade down that right hand side. It's a shot for me, which isn't gonna be as disastrous as the shot that goes left. This is the first time in a long time I've hit drives on this hole and not hit one into the water. That speaks volumes. Let's discuss numbers for the Cleveland Launcher XL2. So having spent quite a lot of time today with this brand new Cleveland Launcher XL2 driver, what are my thoughts and what were the numbers exactly? Well, you can see I hit quite a lot of really good penetrating flights with this driver. And that's not to say that I'm hitting absolute bombs with it. I'm not sure it is gonna be the driver for me. It's not quite as low spin enough, but I do think that if you get it out the right place in the face, you're gonna have the forgiveness. You're gonna have the ball speed. As you can see, I'm quite impressed with that ball speed. 160 for me is a nice average i would like to see that spinning a little bit lower i think that would allow it to get a little bit more carry but personally i think you have to have a look at maybe the different loft angles and try and get the perfect loft angle for you this driver would be ideal for a fitting and i think you could make it really really good 
So just what technology does this brand new Cleveland Launcher XL2 driver feature? You'll see we have put a coat on for this section because it is freezing today. So the big story about this driver is that mainframe XL face. This uses a variable face thickness that maximizes flex at impact to boost distance. It also repositions weight low and deep in the club head for a more forgiveness and consistency. The XL head design is an improved head design packing even more MOI than the latest generation. And we also feature that gorgeous rebound frame, which does give you a bigger flex zone with alternating flex zones acting in sync. Rebound frame directs more energy into the ball for speed and distance. The Action Mass CG is an eight gram weight tucked into the end of the shaft. That counterbalances the club for more control without extra effort. And the counterweight helps the club feel lighter on the takeaway and more stable through impact. So like I said, jam packed, full of technology, all for under £400, which is kind of a bargain, is it? Really? Okay, so rather impressive numbers there with this Cleveland XL2 launcher driver. I'm more and more impressed with this the more I hit it. Not so much that it's going to be the longest driver of 2024, because I don't think it really is. I think depending on exactly what you want from your driver, if you want a low spin driver, if you want a mega forgiving driver, this may tick a couple of the boxes. I don't think it's going to be one of those low spin knuckleballs like a Paradigm Triple Diamond or a Titleist TSR3 or even the new QI10 LS. But I certainly think if you're in the market for a driver that keeps the ball in play, holds a nice consistent spin rate and is easy to launch, this XL2 may well be the club that you try. Can that get up there? We're 300 yards out, but it's a little bit icy underfoot. Go on, keep going, keep going. I think that's just front bunker. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, smash that. That was a terrible strike and that's done really well. Guys, thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Let me know what you think to the new Cleveland Launcher XL2. And apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. See you then.